Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday, the 31st of October. Happy Halloween. And I'm covering today uh, one of the uh, greatest, lo largest and greatest possibly um, computer chip manufacturers in the USA, Intel. The, um, in fact, it's the granddaddy of them all, I believe. Uh, and um, I believe with the plunge off of the uh, April high, $68, to last week's low at $25, um, is probably at or very near the end of the decline. This is a very steep decline. Uh, obviously, there are many, many shorts um, in in uh, in the market here. But note that this zone here, which I've marked with this uh, shaded pink area, if you notice most of the trading, except for that um, um, credit crunch plunge down below it, most of the trading occurred within this zone here that um, what we call a congestion zone quickly came back up here and it broke out of it tried to get back in and of course um, with the um, great bull market in in Nasdaq this is a member of Nasdaq by the way um, uh, took part in a pretty rig uh, rigorous um, bull run but it's very choppy extremely choppy um, really difficult to trade in the short to medium term and I avoided doing so. But as you see here, it's come right back down into this zone of support. This is potential support here. So um, I would say that um, the odds are getting much better that we are at or very near a major low. And I, could, I believe we could expect a at least a rally up to this level here around the $35 region. Uh, that may be it, I don't know, but um, I think the odds are for a rally up to here. Now, a lot of the bearishness, of course, has been um, induced by the supply chain problems where it has uh, resulted in the ludicrous situation where used cars are more expensive than new ones. Imagine that. <laughs> Uh, it's the topsy-turvy world we live in at the moment, and it will get even more so, I believe. But uh, that's the situation. Um, Intel are taking steps to uh, reduce expenses, expenses, and um, I think we'll see slightly better results in the next quarter. But anyway, um, I think this represents a pretty good um, opportunity for very long-term investors and I mean long-term investors, this is not a trading situation or scalping where day traders uh, <laughs> often dominate. This is not that sort of a situation at all. So um, uh, I would be worried though if I get if it got below the $20 region in, uh, in the next um, few weeks, uh, that would be my line in the sand, the $20 region here. So let's take a look at the, uh, the NASDAQ market. That has been the leader uh, of the bear market. This was the all-time high back in November of last year. And as you see, it's made a pretty decent um, uh, collection of five waves down, three waves up. Um, here's the first one. One, two, that's a three wave for number two, number three, Number four, number five, that's that's the first one. And then there's an ABC up to there, that's number two. This is a one, two, three, four, five wave down in this wave. That's an ABC to that point there, that's uh, wave four of this one. And the final plunge down here uh, was the final wave one of the entire wave. That was a major, major low. And that resulted, of course, in a substantial rally up to the August high. Uh, that's an ABC rally, three waves. And off that high, we've had a five wave decline, wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five, to the October 14th low. 
and we are now in a wave two relief rally. It's taken it to the only to the Fibonacci 38% retrace of this wave. That's a very weak, um, a very weak uh, relief rally. Um, and we, if we get a further advance, I would say the maximum extent of the relief rally would be up here to the Fibonacci 50% which takes it to just over the 12,000 mark. It's currently trading around 11,500 uh, here. But note there's a momentum divergence here, which, which heralded a relief rally of this low, which is what we're getting. Now, I'm not sure whether this is a, like a, a, a very small A, B, C, or an A, B, and a C up here. So that is another option. Um, I'd say it's about 50-50 at the moment. Um, if we do get a, a further push up in the NASDAQ, that will draw Intel shares up higher, I believe. And that would provide uh, the basis for my forecast for Intel. But as of now, we are at a very critical point here. The week ahead is absolutely to top critical. We've got uh, many very important statements coming out, especially the Fed is due on um, on Wednesday. We've got the monthly jobs data due later in the month. There's an awful lot of market sensitive data being poured at us later this week. Um, I would expect uh, shares to be quite volatile um, for this week. So uh, I do remain with my forecast for Intel and we must watch for a break of this level in the NASDAQ, uh, which would um, herald a possible rise up to here. That would be an excellent area for it to stop. So that is my forecast.